Hi. Today we're going to talk about measuring storm straps for four post lift. We're going to start looking at the stern. First thing to consider is, like in this case, this boat has a door. So you cannot put a strap across the door that wouldn't be strong enough. So the strap is going to attach to the cradle beam just below the white pole here. So the strap would go across the boat at this location. So in this case, we're going to go just behind the door, which is perfect. When you would not want to put the strap here because it would not be as strong. The other thing you want to make sure about is that the, the straps are in front of the cushions, any kind of stern cushion that you might have. And again, in this case, since the strap is going to be here, you don't have any problem with the, uh, the, the stern cushions. So, so with that in mind, the first measurement we're going to make is measuring down to the cradle I-beam. Put the, you're going to put the tape measure on the top of the cradle I beam, and you're going to come up and measure, look across to where the top of the gunnel hits the tape measure, and that's right around 58 inches. So you're going to write down 58 inches. And then you're going to measure from the edge of the rub rail all, all the way across the gunnel, past the cushions, just past the cushions, and that's going to be around 12 inches. So you're going to write 12 inches down. We, we put a strap guard across the gunnel. So you're going to when we want to measure from the bottom of the rub rail and bend your tape measure over to just past any kind of cushions. And in this case, that's 16 inches. That'll tell us what size um, strap guard to provide. So the next measurement is going to be the um, the width of the cockpit. So in this case. We're right at 91 inches. So with, with those measurements, with those measurements, then you've got enough information to create a stern strap for your boat. Now we're going to go talk about the strap for the bow. So up in the bow, we're going to talk about measuring the storm straps in the bow. So the first thing you want to consider is where the strap's going to come across the boat. In an ideal world, the strap is going to go just in front of your console, and then the, the measurements are going to be just like you measured for the stern. Um, in this case, the console is actually in the way, and there's a T-top, so we're going to go through the T-top, and there's a few things to consider when you're looking to make that decision. You want to make sure that your T-top is, is, is a solid T-top with the mounts that actually bolt to the floor. So you see how this one bolts to the floor in the front and the back, and then even on the on the console it mounts down. Um, what we would not want is to see a T top that only had mounts on the side because you could potentially shear your your bolts with the with the straps and the pressure during a storm. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the strap up through this this corner of the um, T top. You can see how it's a nice solid nice solid corner. So the measurements would be would be similar. We're still going to measure from the top of the the top of the cradle I beam. Up to up to the top of the gunnel. So in this case we're talking about 68 inches. Is it, the, the width of the gunnel here really doesn't matter as much, but it's nine inches. What we're going to do instead is measure from this corner down to the outside of the, um, the gunnel. So we measure from here out out to the outside of the gunnel, which is about 48 inches. And then we would measure the width of your console going across the top of your T-top. So in this case, that's 60 inches. Since the boat's a mirror image of each other, the same measurements would be over there, so we don't need to remeasure from the T top down to the, um, the gunnel and back down. Now, what we would do is we would actually use a long strap and then a short ratchet um, that down by the cradle of the cradle beam of the lift, and we would put that short ratchet on the dock side rather than on the uh, outside. 
outside of the boat. When we are using T-tops, what we will do is we will put a piece of rubber um, tubing right across in, in the joint to keep the strap from chafing onto the, the, um, the T-top itself. Is an alternate to the um, the strap guard that we would have here. We still would potentially put a small piece of strap guard here as well, but we'd also have an additional um, strap guard for the, for the um, T top. So with that, you've got one more measurement that you need to take. We need to know the, the width of your cradle I beam. So we need to get, raise the lift up enough so we can get to the cradle I beam and measure the width. We'll, we'll show you that. Okay, so now we're going to measure the width of the I-beam. You're going to take your, tape, take your tape measure and just measure across the top of the beam. You can see this one is 7 inches, so you break down 7 inches. You can see this lift already has the um, tie-down points already attached. We just change out the hardware to make it the size for your lift. And that's all the measurements we need for creating your storm straps. Thanks for watching.